Chapter 5, Maintenance Introduction. This chapter um, describes maintenance, which includes the instruction, disassembly, cleaning, inspection, repair, assembly, special tools. Re refer to Manual 36405, listing the special tools required for the maintenance, overhaul, general inspection, use care, and handling of the governor to avoid damage to the drive shaft, oil seal bearings, and other internal parts of the surface. Place the governor in supporting blocks. Do not strike them with the drive. Do not strike the drive shaft. One, drain the oil, from, if any of them. The governor, clean the exterior surface using the cloth motion with the cloth solvent. Do not remove the disturb the position of the screw brackets, etc., which function in adjustment design or, nor disassemble the various linkages refer, further than um, than required to affect the removal unless replacement component parts are necessary. Four, do not remove the press button fit parts for the such as bearings locating the dial pins, oil pump check the valve pivot pins for the less replacement is necessary. Removal is required in effect the assembly removal of the, of the other parts. Discard do not reuse the gasket perform packaging, O rings, oil seal, copper, sealing washers, retaining rings, co cotter pins or roller sp spiral um, pins, etc. Remove the process disassembly. Alright, disassembly. Place the governor on some type of, the, of sand to protect the drive shaft and hold the governor in position to be worked on. Remove the cover, two screws, overriding solenoid bracket is present with the remove it. Figure 5 1. Remove the solenoid pack 5 2. Disconnect the wires of the terminal block. Remove the three screws from the secure solenoid pack of the column. Lift off the solenoid pack. Review. Figure 5 1 shows the fuel limiter, the lube, oil shut down plunger screws and terminal block with the overriding solenoid brackets. Figure 5-2 shows the solenoid pack, um, the screw lock washer and flat washer. Remove the fuel limiter, figure 5-3, remove the shutdown limited and us bushing, remove the load spring, remove the two screws, disconnect the load control floating le lever to the tail rod, disconnect the load control floating lever to the load control link, disconnect the air connection couple, lift o off the fuel limiter assembly, figure 5-4, lift off the overriding so so solenoid spring, um, ORS and piston figure 5-5, five, five, lift off the load control bushing spring gasket 5-6. Alright, 5-3, you see the fuel limiter installed with the tail rod air connection, coupling spring screw, load control floating lever, load control linkage, shut down nuts and nuts. Fuel limiter, um, figure 5-4 shows the fuel limiter assembly and show, shut down nuts. Figure 5 show, five shows the overriding solenoid spring and piston. Figure 5-6 is the load controlling bushing and spring and gasket. Um, Figure 5, remove the triangular plate with the speed setting of the cylinder field. And figure 5, 7, remove the two screws, remove the pin connection with the restoring the link of the restoring lever, lifting off the speed setting cylinder, figure 5, 8. Um, figure 5, 7, shows the triangular plate, speed setting cylinder, in, installed the screws, the speed setting cylinder, restoring lever pin, restoring link of the triangular plate. 5 8, the speed setting of the cylinder cylinder and the triangular plate, setting speed setting cylinder, triangular plate, and the um, 6, remove the two screws, light, light, lift off the time, the delay with the figure 5 9 and 5 10. 5 9, timely de delay mechanism, bypass valve screw time, and delay pointer. 5 10, timely delay mechanism, and speed setting pilot valve assembly. 7 lift off speed settings plunger pushing floating lever and slowed spring figure 510 remove the bypass figure valve 59 and 511 figure 511 is the bypass valve Remove the side valve plate, side plate cover the 12 screws of the figure 512. Um, you have your vein servo meter contact plate and indent indicator assembly, governor side plate, screw washer insulator, resistor pack, the gasket, and with the resistor pack screws. Um, Figure 512 shows the vein separator, the beam spring plate, the ceramic um, resistor, vein thermo, motor terminal, board governor, side plate, gasket, and side plate. Um, to figure 10 shows the remove of the vein servo with the figure 13 and figure 14, the vein servo, oil filter, oil filter screws, lube oil, low lube oil cover screws, cover screws. 514 lube oil covers diaphragm. You have the verve servo plate, the be um, be bellow fram, diaphragm, the spring lube oil cover. The, and then next down below that, you see the note the single, the bellow fram, diaphragm may be in or your governor with a single diaphragm and shaft. Remove the snap of the ring, lift off the contact plate indicator assembly, figure 512. Remove the two screws under the contact plate, two screws on the spacer at the end of the resistor pack. Remove the resistor pack, figure 12, 512. Remove the four screws and oil filter, five, figure 513. 14. Remove the lube oil, cover the spring gasket and diaphragm, figure 513, 514. Important. If the cover will not come off, um, remove the adjusting screw from the center of the cover. Um, notice that be careful not to damage the bell frame diaphragm when removing it. 15. Remove the side of the plate with the gasket along with the re pressure reducing valve sleeve with the plunger express springing of the column of the figure 515. 
515 shows the side plate with the vein housing, vein servo plate with the gasket, spring sleeve, and plunger pressure reducing valve. Um, figure 16, um, remove the lube oil valve, put bushing, piston, spring, and gasket. Figure 516, 516 lube oil, low lube oil and timing valve, um, screws, column, gasket, spring, slow oil, shut down, piston valve, bushing. And then you have your timing valve settings with the instruction, instruction plate, screw, and retainer plate, plate knee valve, and knee valve body. 17, um, remove the screw and plates and lifting out of the time valve. 18, remove the forger screw with the water um, box. Presently disconnect the bolt, bottom of both tubes to the column, then separate the column with the, floor of the power case, um, power case, figure 5. 16, lift the bow head assembly out of the power case, figure 5. 17, 5. 17, the power case on the power servo, power servo, ball, ball head assembly, power case, screw, drive slot, and then seal, uh, seals, spring, seal, seat, and spring. 20. Remove the spring seat and spring and seat. Spring, spring seat and seal. Figure 5. 17. Remove four screws. Remove the two screws. Water back from the power case. Then separate the power servo from the power case. Remove the spring seat and the simmering from the power server side of the power case. Figure 5. 18. 5. 18. Shows the compensation system. The power case is the O-ring plug and the snap ring going in from the spring seat, spring buffer, sp buffer piston, and spring. 23. Remove the snap ring, O-ring, spring, and the buffer spring. 5. 18. And turn on the power cut. Um, case upside of the remove eight screws left lift off the base of fire figure fit 517 important if the base does not separate easily with the power case use the screwdriver and slot them to pry the part 25 remove the three screws um, retainer plate plate lift off the drive shaft the shield with the gasket figure 519 retainer plate screws the drive shaft the bearing um, snap ring seal in the base the drive shaft all right um Move the drive gear, idler gear for the power case. Um, the figure twelve, five, figure five twenty. Um, show the power case in the base. You have the base over here. Perform packaging, idle gear, the driving gear, accumulator, and power casing. Ball head assembly. Figure five twenty one. Turn the speeder spring. With the remove the spring and the check out the plug of the spring seat. Lo um, loosen the um, pilot valve plunger. Remove the, remove the shutdown rod. Lift off the spring seat and the rush bearing washer adjusting spring. Remove the four pins flyweeds. Flyweights, um, remove the spring screw, spring coupling, remove the A screw, the flyweight head, take off the O ring bearing, remove the snap ring, and the bushing, and the pilot valve ring, valve plunger. Warning um, You can be injured or accumulated, uh, by an accumulator spring because they are under compression using an arbor pressure. Make care, be careful with the, um, them. All right, your ball head assembly you have on the top from 12 o'clock flyweight headgear, then the flyweight head screws, the flyweight head, the spring coupling, the flyweight, the adjusting spring, the pin, the thrusting bearing, the spring seat, the spring spring, the speeder spring, the shutdown rod, the bearing, the O-ring, the snap ring, the bushing, the pilot valve, the um, pilot valve pump nut and spring washer, screw and pilot valve plunger. 28 power case disassembly using the arbor press for the hold of the spring. Remove the snap ring. Slowly replace the comp compressed accumulator spring and spring seat. Remove the oil gauge. Remove all the plugs and remove the drain. Figure 22 shows the power case and oil gauge of pipe plugs, the drain, the accumulator spring seat, and snap ring. Solenoid dis disassembly. Figure 523 and 524. Disconnect the wires. Remove the switch from the receiver assembly. Remove the nut of the solenoid. Screw the plunger out of the case. Screw the case out of the receiver assembly. Remove the load spring insulator of the plunger. Remove the solid. Soldered wires of the solenoid coil, remove the guide of the bushing of the shield, washer, disassembly all the solenoids. Figure 523 shows the solenoid pack on the receiver and the switch. Um, figure 24, figure 524 shows the solenoid receiver and assembly, the coil set, uh, set screw, the plunger's nut case, and the load spring insulator, so, um, plunger, plunger, EM, electric, uh, GEM, EMD guide of the insulation, bushing, washer, shield, washer, and switch. All right, speed setting cylinder disassembly, figure 525. Um, remove the nut and pin fulcrum screw. Remove the head of the pin set. Right at the restoring lever of the two pieces of the piston. Um, press the piston rod out of the fulcrum. Be careful not to drop the piston. Remove the stop screw. All right, piston rod, fulcrum screw, lock nut, load spring, pin, stop screw, head pin, restoring lever. Fuel limiter disassembly. Remove the snap and lift, uh, lift off of the pilot valve with the adjusting screw. Take out the loading spring. Remove the cotter pin. Fuel limiter lever, uh, lever pivoting pin. Fuel limiter. Uh, limit lever, remove the feedback lever, remove the two screws on the top, two on the top, one from the bottom, lift off the bracket, remove the cotter pin to the top of the bell crank, remove the bell crank, remove the bell pin from the bell crank, remove the cotter pin to the pin with the bearing of the bell crank, lift off the amplifier, ampl amplifier piston, the valve plunger and load spring, lift off the sensor piston, level the piston, fuel limiter, 
can, can assembly. Important. Do not separate the cam from the piston unless the cam is damaged from the worn. Okay, lift off the springs and seat bleed valve with the two L. Remove the two end nylon screws and take off the bellow. Spacer valve seats. Remove the eccentric, um, move eccentric um, and remove the O ring uh, screen, O ring and the check valve. O, remove the snap ring, washer gaskets, all orifice and spring and orifice plate. All right. Um, this shows you your, your fuel limiting bracket um, linkage. We'll start with the top. It shows the um, counter pin, bell crank pin, counter pin bearing, floating lever, the bra gra bracket screw, lock washer, ba bell crank um, pin, linkage bracket, fuel limiting lever pin, um, fed feedback lever, floating spring, counter pin, adjusting screw, snap ring, and fuel limit and pivot. Also on the fuel limiting bracket linkage for the lock or washer and bracket. Um, Power servo disassembly figure seven and five and seven and six. Linear output servo is spring unloaded with some type of the pressure jack screws disassembling the servos. Figure seven and five with the linear output servo to remove the spring seals and ring of the seal. They're using the jack screws and some type of the pressure holding the spring ring guard while it's loosening the screws. Remove the pin and the separate rod from the piston. Remove the same two seals. See figure seven and six with the rotary outer servo disassembly. All right, your 33 water box disassembly. See figure 569. Figure 527 fuel limiter sensor bellow. Um, you're starting with the sensor piston slide, the roller pin, nylock screw, fuel limiter cam, sensor the piston, spring seat, restoring spring seat, spe spring seat, bleed valve, load spring, amplifier pilot, valve blunger, amplified piston, copper washer, eccentric copper washer, nylon. With screws, bellows, O ring, spacer, strap, spring, snap, spring, valve, spring, valve seat. All right, fuel limiter orifice. The housing on the bottom, orifice case, ga washer, gasket, orifice gasket, orifice place, gasket, washer, spring, washer, snap, check valve, O ring, screen, and O ring. All right, your 59 is your figure 529 is your speed setting servo, optional fuel star. So you start fuel limiter parts shaded. Um, you start shaded with these note that this, these are your fuel starter. Starter fuel, um, nut starter fuel limited, lever limited, adjusting screw, loading springs, washer and pin. Um, and then on the, uh, the speeding setting servo, you have the base speeding nut setting nut block, falcon block link spring, um, feedback washer, base speed rod, pin, feedback lever pin. Washer screw indicator scale servo cylinder servo stop nut head pin um, load control link start fuel limiter pad hitch pin with load control link. All right, repair and replacement. Repair the parts should be limited to the removal of the minor nicks and burn, burn, burrs and corrosions. Um, polish um, slightly corrode with area, or areas by maintaining surfaces using the five, five, five um, fine 600 grit abrasive cloth or pipe paper. Or oil. Remember, rem repair the work or any greater extent with the impractical part that should be um, replaced. Note: uh, Handle critical parts with extreme care with the mating of the edges surface that will not damage sharp edges. Plunger and landing the piston with the grooves, murdering, mer 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 metering ports, or uh, etc. must be maintained around edges and nicks. Other damages such as edges result in excessive extends excessive internal leakage and decreasing um, control intensity. All right, your cleaning. Um, clean critical parts on the hand by hand. Pilot valve plunger, pilot valve pushing, compensation piston, servo piston, loot oil, shutdown piston, knee valve, bypass valve, load control bushing, or, or override solenoid piston, clean resistor and bypack with the submerging and clean solvent that we're shaking it around, blow dry with a jet, a jet of dry air, and pressure the wash casting, other parts. Um, Lubricating metal parts with light liberally located below out of the time of the assembly. Lubricate oil rings the petrol, petroli, petroleum before the installation. I also lubricate any of the press fit parts, bearings, and seals before some installation. Assembly should be performed in dust work free areas, replace the damage and worn parts with the new parts, replace o rings, cotter pins, bellow frames, the gaskets with the new parts, obtain the new o rings, gasket, sailing, washer, retaining rings, cotter pins, and etc. to replace those removed during, during, during assembly. Installing retaining rings and sharp edge with the direction of applied force. Use the Arison multi-core activated, activated resin core solder equivalent to the making of the electrical connection solenoid coil. Um, 
figure 716 and connectors um, use the solder sparingly to avoid the flow of the excessive solder with a shield washer which may short circuit the terminal of the ground. Alright, the ball head. Check the toe aware of the flyweights. The flyweight toe for the support with the thrust bearing. The place the weight if there was a flat spot larger than a 32th of an inch wide. Check the flyweight pins for the wear of the pins. Indicate with the bad bearing of the flyweight. Place the bolt through pins and bearings. Check the thrust bearing of the placing of the bearing between the race of the throw rotating within your hand. If the bearing feels replaced, then check the main bearing with the inserting of the toe finger the inside of the inner race and apply with the pressure of the well supplying the outer race with the other hand. Check the pilot valve plunger and remain next to the wares replacing the pilot, um, pilot valve plunger if it has any next control line larger than one thousand of an inch. Use the light and check the inside of the pilot valve plunger and pushing. Be sure that there are no nicks with the control pilot um, port. Um, check the spring coupling with the twisting sli slightly. The spring should not be loose. Um, insert the pilot valve pl plunger and bushing gear. Bushing assembly slightly secure the snap and ring. Install the springs coupling. Flight weight spring coupling with the missing tooth and the gear with, it with one position only. Put the bearings in the gear, gear bushing assembly. Lubricate the old ring. Place the um, in gear bushing. Place the small ring. Shut down over out of the pilot valve pl plunger. Secure the pilot valve plunger nut and fasten the um, flyweight head to the gear bushing assembly with the eight screws. Install the flight weight flyweights of the flyweight head. Pl um, pl place the adjusting screw with the spring with the washer on the shut down rod. Adjust the pilot valve plunger until the pilot valve plunger control hand with the center of the control portion of the pilot valve plunger bushing. Figure 530 sh and adjusting the pilot valve plunger until the dimension A and B are equal to making the adjustment of the figure 531 to keep the slightly pressure with the flyweights in both direction pin uh, with the cotter pin in position once adjusting them correctly. Uh, adjusted correctly. Um, figure 530 shows the pilot valve plunger with the control point with the opening of the controller landing off the pilot valve plunger and the pilot valve pushings. Pilot valve plunger down, pilot valve plunger up. The A and B measurements equal to, um, all right, figure 531 shows the pilot valve plunger adjustment procedures. The flyweight, the springs, um, spring seat, and the um, ported opening. The place um, to the rush pin with the shutdown, the rudd-down race, having the largest hole in the bottom of the pit spring, 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 um, spring seat with the place in the shutdown run, rod, the place on the top of the spring thing with the complete the ball head assembly. All right, your power servo. Check the piston lightly. Remove any the nicks and burn small stone. Check the sash after the wear lightly. This polish any amory cloth no, no, necessary. Check the cylinder for the wear. Remove the next amory cloth required. Insert the piston with the cylinder. Press the oil seals below the flush. Press the rod end of the piston shaft with the screw with the tip of the pins. The screw on the type of the type and the screw within the fit 25 pounds a foot. And then, then drill and pin with the roll um, pin. Pull the pull on the tail rod the thread with the tail rod with lift nut the one t onto the tail rod with the solenoid end of the piston shaft with the, the thread the tail rod until it is just enough clearance for until the tail rod and lift nut can turn on the position turn nut on the lifted turn nut to secure it on position place the gasket and cylinder rod and cylinder and spring in the cylinder um, use the jack screw some of the type of the Garrett pressure in the complete. Compress the spring guard with the cylinder secure with the screws and washer. Install the scale and screw. Install the spring and sail with the O-ring. Check the knee valve with the wear with the install with the knee valve with the washer. Screw the knee valve with the until the adjust the bottom of the bend back to the two turns. And notice that do not over tighten the knee valve and it damages the seats. Um, Alright, you have your own ring seal, spring, the washer, screw, and scales, um, spring guard, screw, washers, gasket, um, springs, string spindle, tail rod, pin, nut, tail rod, lifter, nut, washer, line ear, um, screw, lock washer, o-ring, needle valve, piston, power cylinder, gasket, oil seal, oil seal, um, tamper pin, cotter pin, rod, end, and then down here you have, uh, your rotary, um, screw point contact breaker, spring washer, screw scale lever, needle valve packing, screw oil seal bearing, screw lock washer, gasket, power cylinder, shafts bearing, oil seal, pin and nut, pin and lever, um, screw lock washer, lock link, retainer ring, re retainer ring, um, gasket cover and washer and screw. Power case and base, uh, oil gauge, snap ring, accumulator, spring drain and plug, pi pi pipe plugs, power case. 
Check the wearing of the gear pockets with shiny spots indicated the side load of the drive shaft. Check the surface of the base column for the burrs and stone if required. Check if no install the both accumulator pistons gear with the snap rings. Use the arbor piston press to install the accumulator spring in the seat with the screw of the snap rings. Install the pipe plugs, oil drain, and oil gauge. Use the lo lo Loctite oil thread ice. Install the idle gear and check with the free movement. Install the pump gear with the check with the free movement. Lubricate the install pier. Perform um, packing on the base end of the, of the power case. Place the base position on the power case with the four screws in the center hole, each of the side with the screw of the base with the pop, 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 poser screw. Tighten the screw evenly with a um, little, time, little time. Check the uh, line of the pot and place from the drive shaft in the position. Turn it into the check hole for the free movement. And if the pump does not move through, loosen the screw base. Reposition slightly with the drive shaft freely. Install other four screws. Base tightening tor torque of 90 pounds an inch. Um, nominal screw check the drive shaft to wear over the area of the seal fits. Um, replace the bearing drive shaft with a new bearing unless none of it is available to old odd bearing it's now damaged too badly figure 534 534 shows the drive shaft made the retaining ring springs of the drive shaft bearing and the snap ring and the seals on the gate um, ba ba base install the gasket seal paste in the, in the place of the gate install the drive shaft secure with the retaining pin plate and the screw the torque screws with up to 30 pounds per an inch um bend the ears the retaining plate plate with the screws and secure screws plate and put a new o-ring on the plug and insert the spring and the plug into the compensation cylinder of the power cylinder secure the plug and the snap ring figure 535 shows the compensation power case the o-ring plug snap ring the spring seat springs some buffer springs and spring um 11 17 lay the power case on the side um insert the power spring of the spring seat into the compensation cylinder and servo side of the power case um be sure the both the springs in into the end of the buffer system and install the power and servo important when the governor is on the test stand and operating temperature torque screw that's a 40 pound for the feet um 19 resemble the water box attached to the power ca case and put all the small gasket in the top power case figure 536 536 shows the power gasket power case and assembly complete with the gasket um, also, uh, the columns of power case assembly, the power case has gaskets, gasket bearing stud, bell head gear, driving gear, time valve assembly column, bypass valve counterbalance spring, o rings, washers, and screws, and spree, speed setting return spring. All right, check the ball head drive with the gear with the gears okay with the place of the piston on the bottom of the column with the bolt clean bolt of the time and revolve with the replace the old ring with the knee valves and serve with the column with the gear with the retaining inner pin and install with the block, plate of the block washer and screw in figure 538. 538 shows the timing valve the instruction plate of the screw the lock washer the retainer plate the knee valve the o, -O, -O ring and the valve with the body check valve um, check ball spring and the plug and the snap ring in the, the install in the bulkhead union assembly figure 539. Um, plunger diaphragm washer nut, screw lock washer, bushing casket piston, plunger spring, lube, oil, low lube oil si um, system install here, lube oil shut down, install the gasket plunger pit spring piston bushing into the hole of the oil shut down assembly in figure 539, assemble the diaphragm shown in figure 539 and 539A, do not let the uh, diagram twist buckle while tightening the nut. 539A differential air lube um, oil shut down bulkhead bulkhead union um, assembly um, drive screw pipe and plug and plate also the plunger diaphragm piston o ring o ring spacer diaphragm washer nut then the washer screw plushing gasket piston plunger spring and low lube oil system installation here figure 540 shows the load control supply valve the holding of the th thread and threading resistor packaging wire through the low control supply valve sleeve, uh, sleeve the spring roll, round hole, split, uh, slotted hole, and plunger. Seven for differential area loop oil shut down roll diaphragm and around the piston of the inside of the space. The donut nice sharpen the two will start diaphragm. Usually it can be started with the finger to insert the diaphragm assembly the cylinder loop oil system install the load controlling supply valve in order to show the incorrect valve of the column replace. The bearings, if required, at the end of the place, see figure 541 um, brass punch bearing with the end of the remove of the cap, the reverse plate, and with the drive out bearing with the press, fitting new bearings into both ends of the plate. Figure 541 showed the vein assembly to bring valve insert with the servo shaft, the oil seal the bearing, the end plate, the lock washer, and screw, the housing oil seal bearing, end plate, lock washer, screw, and end cap. The fan assembled the servo shaft, the shaft vero insert the new spring housing. Use new springs with the important use new springs with the vein insert. Put oil springs in placing the housing and then secure the caps and the housing of the screws and lock washer. Install the three o rings showing the side plate figure 542. 
Figure 542 shows the side plate O-rings and the volume side is Servio side plate um, gasket. Servio communicator white wire retainer resistor packed with screwed figure 543. Wires threaded into the column holes with the resistor pack wires. Apply 15 pack. Place the gasket in position on the side column. 16 attach the side plate columns of the 10 screws. Torque screws the 75 pounds an inch to ensure the plate is flatness and flatness and the torque screws and the screw that start with the center and works away and at the end of the that Resistor pack of the wires um, through the gasket side, passing gasket in the a hole in column figure 544 and 545. The column mounting holes figure 554, figure 554 side plate mounting holes show the column mounting holes. All right, um, the resistor pack goes with the gasket on um, this retaining pin with gasket screws the screw screw wire retainer spacer spacer communicator lock washer nut screw and communicator resistor pack the screw lock washer finger um finger washer spring and gasket and then you have your ceramic resistor um screw split one five um split washer um washer spring assembly screw with common clamping plate spring spacer washer ceramic resistor insulator Cap screw washer lock screw cap and washer clamp clamp wire assembly packing support seal side plate gasket. All right, attach the resistor back to the side plate first. The two screws through the communicator do not um, tighten. Center the order with the sh shown in Figure 545. Secure the right hand side with the resistor pack. The column tighten the screw on the left hand side. Communicator um, insert the end of the shaft of the contact plate with assembly. 556 below the communicator side plate secure the retaining ring lightly can gently contact the side of the communicator. Notice do not bend the contact on the plate as you slide the plate into position. Figure 546 shows the contact plate assembly, drive shaft positioning, bushing, put contact plate button in, locating lock washer and nut. Make sure that the vein with the maximum amount of the travel is necessary. Pull the contact plate slightly, rotating the position of the teeth, obtain the maximum travel. Secure the contact plate with the shaft of the snap ring. Attach the vein assembly to the side plate, lock washer and nuts. Attach the side plate, cover the side plate with the holes in the top of the figure 547. Needed for four three inch long screws, either on holes in the requiring two eighths of an inch minimum screws. Screws, dial plate, gasket, ga last gasket, lock screws, lock washer, lock screw, lock washer, screw and drain, and side plate and side plate cover. Assembly oil filter after clean oil and oil mount in position all the veins servo side plates the filter and plug o-ring 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 case o-ring lock washer screw gasket or plug oil filter install load spring spring seat oil ring and end cap with the lock washer screw figure 549 during the test of the Test on t test on test stands adjust shut down point of the initial stall plug end of the cap and Loctite 242 outside diameter plug Figure 549, um, loop oil shut down, load spring, spring sheet, O-rings, o o cap, lock washer, and, um, screw, and screw, and plug, uh, clean, assembly installed, uh, pass valve of the position sh shown in figure 550. These these parts are sold sold as complete as assembly, spring retaining, uh, not O-ring, the sleeve, O-ring, uh, uh, right, spring retaining ring, O-ring, sleeve, spring, bypass body, hidden plunger, spring, spring seat, O-ring, bypass valve column, 550. Our assembly load controlling linkage is shown in the install of the snap ring in the load control bushing 550-551. Um, retaining ring pin, the head pin, counter pin, screw washer, load control pilot valve assembly, spacer gasket, load control spring, load control bushing, spring, spring, um, spring ring, snapping ring, and column. Put the load of the control bushing into the column on board. Install the load control pilot valve with the plunger spring as for gasket spa um, space. For press the cylinder head into the cylinder. 550, 552. Place the O-ring counter counterbore column um, split cylinder into the over pilot with the sam tightened down with the screw washers. Install the overriding piston. And hold the pilot valve plunger down and against the snap of the ring with the woodward and three tool three tool three six zero and the six nine two equivalent. Figure five fifty three. The thread spring sheet on the plunger. Turn the spring sheet down until it touches. The overriding overriding piston, then back off one quarter of the turn. We'll begin with the rising the spring. It's turned off the down further thread and the touching of the spring. All right, up here you have the cotter pin floating lever, the range adjusting screw, the spring and knob, and the pin, the fulcrum box, the um, load control link, the eccentric pin with the screw, the adjusting block, washer nut, nut, washer nut, retaining ring, spring retainer, load control valve, spring lock, lock nut, spring control, collar piston. 
cylinder and plugs, overriding plunger, springer, washer and screw, load control indicator, assembly, cylinder head and plunger, load control, pilot valve assembly, figure 552, figure 553, spring seat tool, um, approximately 3 and, three and, 70, three and 75 hundreds of an inch, 2,000 approximately, 5 and 10, 5, 51 hundreds um, of a, and 5 hundreds, um, 50 hundreds and 5, 51 hundreds of the um, diameter ended 6670 prime maximum diameter. Oh, lift the pilot valve plunger sufficiently far enough to permit the holding of the spring collar wrench with the while locking in the position of the lock. Notice do not lift the plunger high enough higher than necessary to avoid damaging the oil seal. Insulate of the spring, the spring retainer with the retaining ring with the right nut, one pilot valve with the plunger stand with one installed washer assembly, the black helix central load control link, falcon lock floating and lever range adjustment screw springs not. Spring and knob thread adjusting block with the floating lever assembly with about 10 turns out of the pilot valve with the plunger look in place with the black knot. Sorry, I'll try to be quieter. Alright. Check the, the bearing of the wear of the place of the place replace. Check the pilot valve with the plunger rotating the bush. If the damage wear of the replace the replace necessary, be sure that no nicks or burrs or lands light light stone. Any nicks or burrs in the hard Arkansas stone. Insert the load spring rotating bush regulating bush. Small pilot valve load spring pilot valve plunger thrust bearing figure 554 installed thrust bearing with large race on top. The D solenoid screw spring collar washer seat retaining bushing retainer with the retaining screw in the washer. Then the thrust bearing. The pilot valve plunger, the pilot valve loading spring, the pilot regulating bushing, rotating bushing, load spring column. Attach indicator and screw washer assembly the speed setting servo figure 5. Insert the pump piston cylinder falcon bolt on black. Bolt the falcon piston with the before restoring the lever strap. The restoring link at the perspe is between the restoring lever and secure the assembly together with the pin and counter pins. Install the falcon screw washer spring secure with the nut. Attach the screw in the falcon screw with the pin. Install the screw set screw with the nut. Attach the load control link with the head pin secure with the counter pin. Walk, notice when do, when doing the following step, um, be careful not to buckle the triangular plate because also I'll be also careful not to warp the flat springs of the triangular plate while fastening the screw. Or you have a cotter pin washer load control load control linkage, um, falcon black speed setting piston restoring link in the load spring spacer lock nut falcon black restoring levers pin cotter pin head pin lot, load spring washer falcon indicator washer screw pin set screw nut cylinder and speed setting server set a piston. Figure 55, 555 speed setting servo. Setting the speed setting cylinder assembly in place with the triangle to play under the top of the retaining screw. Screw the bolt of the column screw and the washer torque screw to that 50 pounds an inch. First, the, fit the D solenoid cup of the open toward the speed speed setting servo. The regu regulating bushing retaining the position top of the thrusting bearing secured with the washer collar. Spray, springing hex head. 556 um, speed setting triangular plate. Speed setting assembly triangular plate column and retaining screw. All right, 35 install washer retainer screw. Set pointer punch mark and column surface tight and retainer screw. Li li limiter assembly, clean orifice and screen. Place the oil, oil check valve oil rings, gasket, and new ones. The orifice plate must be at 180 degrees out of the face of the assembly in the case. After the assembly in the case, install the limiter housing, lubricate the new O ring in the below bellows. Check the bleed valve with the valve setting seat contact area for the nicks and burrs, either with the critical area of the damage. Replace the new part, pull of the valve in the seat of the housing. With the seat, install the snap ring, install the spacer below, secure with the new nylock screws, they use the new copper watch, install a centric cut housing, and then insert the bleed valve with the spring seat with the restoring spring seat, sensor piston and uh, sleeve, figure 558. Okay, insert the load and pilot valve plunger and amplifier pin uh, and assembly the pin bearing plank bell crank and then ensure the bell crank is linkage bracket pin and cutter pin. Turn adjust and turn adjusting screw, make a feedback and lever in the position floating lever of the bell crank to the cutter pin. Place the fuel limiter replace in the bracket secure with the pin and the cutter pin. Attach the fuel limiter lifter to the bracket secure with the cutter pin. Attach the limit linkage assembly the housing with three screws. If the present assembly, oh, assembly over the riding solenoid bracket, attach the overriding solenoid. Figure 561. Important. See figure 559, which shows the linkage around the fuel limiter.
Alright, 556 shows the fuel limiter orifice for the housing, the orifice gasket, the washer, the gasket, the orifice gasket, the orifice gasket, washer springer, washer, snap ring, check valve, o ring, screen, o ring. Alright, this shows the um, 5558 shows the fuel limiter sensor bowl, copper washer extensor, copper washer nylon, adjusting am am amplifier piston. Amplifier pilot valve load spring, um, the bellows, O-ring, space, spacer strap, sting, snap ring valve seat, um, bleed valve, snap string, the restoring pin, spring sheets, um, sensor piston, nylon screw, sensor piston sleeve, pin, roller pin, and fuel lift, limit, cam, and cam. All right, 559 linkage arrangement, speeding, setting, the restoring link of the fuel limiting lever, load control, left floating lever, fuel limiting, loading lever, tail rod, overriding, solid linkage, overriding solenoid. Right, from the left, the um, cotter pins, bell crank cover, bell crank pin, cotter pin, but the cotter pin bearing floating lever, bracket, bracket screw, lock washer, bell crank, lock, link, bell crank pin, linkage, bracket, fuel limiter, pivot, feedback, um, lever, load spring, cotter pin, adjusting screw, snap ring, fuel limiter, and pivot. Also, the lock washer and the bracket screw for the fuel limiting bracket linkage. 561, the overriding solenoid, overriding solenoid bracket, pin, pin, overriding lever, load, ring, load spring, solenoid plunger, solenoid, overriding solenoid um, fuel limiter, pin, fielding string, overriding lever, washer, counter pin, adjusting lock knot. 37, install the fuel limited load control assembly in figure 562 is in column. 5562, fuel limiter control column, it shows the floating lever, um, floating lever, floating limiter for adjusting block, the load control. All right, 38 attaching link with the fuel limiter load control speed setting is shown in figure 563. 563 shows the floating lever control, floating loading control link of the floating lever, then tail rod. 39 shows the pressure base, base load control and present assembly shown in figure 564. 564 shows the lever linkage overriding the solenoid, a tail rod load control, floating lever overriding riding solenoid, re rebalancing micro arm. Figure 7, 40 says, see figure 56 for the assembly the water box and Installing both diaphragm the fabric side of the, each of the other and install the diaphragm washer so the side of the radius is against the diaphragm. Alright, you have your cotter pin, cotter pin, hitch pins, um, head pin, stock wash, stock block, express washer, cap screw, head screw, pins, clamp, bracket, re rebalance, re rocker arm, low control float, lever, head pin, head pin, pivot pin, pivot valves, pivot tail rod, pivot valve strap, washer socket head, pivot valve link, adjusting blocker, eccentric washer, straight pins, pilot valve strap, stainless steel, cotter pins, two. Alright, wheel, wires, o-ring, tube with the o-ring, buffering, spring, sleeve, case, assemblies, two stainless steel assemblies, um, tubing, lock washer, screw head, um, toggle switch, assembly switch, Switch plate, flat, flat washer, lock washer, socket, head screw, um, o ring, switch cover, lock washer, socket screw, it's screw. Alright, and then you have your hex nut, sock head, sock head, lock washer, water water box, ringing, adjusting screw, retainer, roll pin, lock washer, diaphragm washer, lock one nuts, clamp, hex head, lock washer, diaphragm, ra ratio, lever block, radio, ratio, lever, pin, needle bearing, floating, floating wa flat washer, fill head, locker washer, diaphragm plate. Needle bearing plunger and diagram washer diaphragm fla fla flare failure failure plunger brushing assembly screws head assembly flat assembly brushing back gasket failure some piston piston springs but shut down plunger and that's your water box chapter six is a test and adjustment. I don't know if these have answers.